Hey everyone, this is Aaron with The Higher Talent, and I wanted to go over our employee talent grader today with you. Uh, so when you log into the hiring platform right up top, you'll see employees, and you can just click on that. It'll bring you to this page. It'll be blank when you log in for the first time, or when you come here for the first time, I should say. Uh, but up in the top corner, you'll see the Add button. And then you can add uh, departments and employees. So even if you're a small business, you only have one department, uh, you want to add a department uh, just like a default one so that you can add all of your employees to that. And if you start growing and maybe you have, you know, separate departments, then you can change the uh, employees uh, position as well. And we'll go over that in a little bit. But all the same, you start adding some employees and then it'll start, start to look something like this. We've got some employees added here. And then if we choose one, then we'll start to see a little bit more fleshed out, right? So as an example, uh, Leslie here, we've got her average effectiveness and core value match uh, to core values to your company and the effectiveness in her role in the, in the position. And she'll land somewhere on the on the grid here, right? And we can see everybody landing in different spots on the grid. And, you know, maybe we have somebody who's not quite as uh, needs improvement, you know, not quite as effective. So we can just click on them that way and uh, and and look at their score, see when their next review is, um, see what kind of goals we've set for them, and then make comments as well. And the, the comment section is great if you have multiple managers uh, that are over the same individual or you've got like a an HR person and then you know, you've got somebody in the sales department or the finance department, what have you, uh, that you know you're coordinating these uh, these reviews uh, of the employee. So there's lots of different ways you can utilize that. But all in all, it's just to be able to take notes and remind yourself of things that uh, the, the employee needs to work on so that we can get these scores up, right? Because at the end of the day, the whole point of this isn't so that we can track who we need to get rid of. It's we need to track who we can improve. So we, uh, all that said, I uh, will show you how to add an employee. So if you come up here, you can just add them in. I'll just put myself in here. Why not? Uh, client success department, like Parks and Rec. I'm a Parks and Rec guy myself. And save employee. It's very simple. Okay. And then I didn't actually add myself a score initially, but you can just edit. And I'll show you. You can just basically just scroll through here and decide where they should land. I think pretty highly of myself. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add myself uh, pretty high on the score here. And then again, you'll you'll choose uh, you know when you want to give them a review. I mean, I'll put twelve months for myself. Add a goal. Okay, you can set the deadline for the goal if you want to, which is a great way to make sure things get done. And then again, any comments that you want to add in as far as keeping notes for yourself. So it's a pretty pretty simple system, but it's a great way to keep track of everybody, and they'll all already be in your hiring platform as well. So it's just a good little segue for keeping track of your current employees. Uh, the next thing is, you know, let's say somebody did uh, leave, somebody, you know, quit or got fired or what have you, God forbid, uh, but you can hit the little uh, trash can here and you can archive the employee. So this is nice because it does still keep, uh, and it has a little list of archived employees here. I've done it if this a few times myself. Um, but it keeps the list, and then that way you have some reference material for the person that did leave if you, if you need it for any particular reason. So I hope this helps everybody out, and if you have any questions, as always, feel free to reach out to me. Take care.